Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Hoi 4 Kaiserreich playing as the United States of America under the handsome Huey Pierce Long Jr. So last time we took out and beat up the Reds, and this is what Europe looks like. It is a giant mess. Algeria got our um, African puppet, Algeria, got a little bigger and thicker, which is a very nice thing to see. However, right now we are poised to strike into the German government in exile. Now, uh, we'll talk about... Europe and the decisions I made about, you know, reinstating people in countries. I want to go to war with the German government exile just because right up here we have the South German Union, which is a combination of Austria as well as basically Bavaria. Um, I want to take these guys out so maybe I can reinstate the German Empire up here because I do eventually want to go to war with Russia. I asked you guys yesterday, yesterday whether I should go to war with Russia, and there's a comment from a previous episode that I did not get to that stated that or asking that I should make this a world conquest. And, you know, I'm actually thinking about it right now. Just because we're taking out all of South America and Central America and pretty much the Caribbean eventually. We already have almost half of Europe under us. I'll take out the Belgrad Pact. I do want to take out the Cairo Pact. But then after that, I mean, Japan is still at war with us. We could take out China. So at this point, we might as well make it a full wasteland, wasteland conquest. This is, is not Old World Blues yet. But a Kaiserreich playthrough. But regardless, we need to begin a focus. And then I'll explain my decisions as to what I did with uh, the people in Europe. Because they can't defend themselves or do anything that right. Apparently. Just saying. I'm for the poor man, though. Now the president has brought to Congress legislation to furnish a homestead allowance of a third of the average wealth. A guaranteed annual income of $2,000 in old age pensions is ready to be distributed to loyal Americans. Until such a time when the proper income tax changes are made, these benefits are coming out of the national treasury. Hopefully we can afford it. Uh, sounds like we have uh, universal basic income if you are approved from the state, of course. If you're approved. Let's see, it's November 25th, we've got a couple days. Anything, any upgrades? We need more military factories, it looks like. By golly, we need it. And I'm trying to build up some railroads, but let's go ahead and build some more military factories first. Uh, let's see, I'm going to build it here in the States, just because, well, they can't be touched. We'll go to war soon, so let's explain things as time goes on. So, let's talk about Spain first. We have Spanish Republic. I tried my best to limit the amount of monarchies. You know, we believe every man is a king. But no one wears a crown, so that's why we have the Spanish Republic here under uh, Mr. Bahamonde. Yes, consolidate Spain. You're welcome, Francisco. <laughs> and Portugal, of course, is back under Paulo Magalhães. But we also have France. Now, I did not give France Alsace Lorraine just because I wanted a stronger Germany, because Germany initially supported us, so I think, and I believe. And you know what? Let's have them have. Let's let them have Alsace Lorraine. Uh, we didn't give them Nancy because that didn't make any sense, but France is led by Philippe Morat, and they are, or at least they should be, a republic. And now, normally I like doing this, it could have been Belgium, it could have been Luxembourg, but I just gave all of the Benelux to the Netherlands, first of all, to reduce the number of countries that exist, as in, to reduce the lag, and just because, I don't know, the Netherlands looks really nice. I like United, United Benelux, but unfortunately it's led by Queen Wilhelmina. If I gave it to Belgium, they'd probably be under King Albert or something like that, so it doesn't really matter which one we chose. I just like seeing United Benelux. I wish they do that in real life, but you know what? Belgium still wants to split apart, regardless. Anyways, we have Ireland, led by Mokehi. Cool, I know nothing about him, but he's my puppet. We got Marines level 2, which is great. It is almost 46, and we're almost done with all of this. Do we need more rubber still? Uh, no, we got, holy crap, 130 rubber now? Mmm, that is nice. Over here, we could be doing some more plane stuff, heavy fighters, strategic bombers, that's all good stuff to do. We are done with the air doctrine, we are done with our naval doctrine. We could probably focus a little bit more on our ships, because we're definitely actually probably going to need to do that. Since we will be fighting uh, Japanese eventually. Update equipment. Still just ships. Uh, let's talk about the, the British Republic. This is a republic, and this is a really disappointing flag. I try to give them Ulster off screen. Or, I'm not sure why they don't have those extra red lines, because I remember doing this when I played as... The English and TNO, the last days of Europe, they don't have these red lines. I forget exactly. I thought that was Cornwalls or Cornish lines. They're still pretty divided here. Holy cow. But they are under us, which is a good thing. Now they have a generic focus streak. It is what it is. I am really, I really wish we had those extra red lines in the background. But it's a British Republic. I'm sorry. I had to get rid of the queen. No man and no woman will be a king or queen. And also, I gave Russia up Denmark because I thought it made sense. Sweden got its own stuff back. Uh, after the war, because they're in the Russian sphere, they're social democrats. Are you a social democrat too? You're a market liberal. Okay, cool. Uh, and I gave Prussia a good chunk more of Germany, northern Germany, especially what well, was Hanover, I think. So that's what I did there. They got Hungary, I believe, as well. And I do want to take out the Belgrade Pact just so that we have them under us before we go to war with these guys. And okay, so Italy, Italy's in a weird position just because 
Adriano's the first is here. They're cool. I like Italy a lot, but I gave them like Slovenia for now and Lika, Laika, and Dalmatia and Trieste just because I don't own Serbia and I don't want to get penalized for owning it when we shouldn't own it. So I just gave it Italy for now. There'll come a time which I'll probably give Slovenia to a united Yugoslavia as well as Dalmatia. In exchange, we're going to keep Austrian Littoral. So we'll see what happens, but I do want to take out Germany really quickly. Um, however, it's going to be probably a relatively tough war. So let's stop training because we don't have that many days left. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be good. Uh, where are my tanks? You, Marines are up here still. Oh. Oh, I still own this. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Hmm. Well. Honestly, the Italians try to fight us a bunch. The French try to fight us a bunch. I really don't know who to give this to. Uh. You know, we'll just give it to the French. We'll make it look a little normal. There you go, you can core that too. There we go. Makes it a little, a little better, I guess. I'm going to leave my planes in the Mediterranean just because we're going to need them eventually. Alright, we go to, need to go to war by the third, so. Tanks, tanks, where are you, my friends? Oh, you're not having a lot of good supply down here. I wanted you to bum rush down here in the south, but we'll see what happens. That's why I'm trying to increase infrastructure in East Angola. And supply is probably actually really, really bad down here. Oh, yeah, we've only level one port. Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. I can't imagine the Germans really being able to stop us when we're attacking, but you know what? I could be wrong. <clears throat> I need you guys to move out quickly if you can. Uh, in the north, not really. Not so much. Alright, let's go ahead and go to war, because we have soldiers boys up here as well, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Spanish Republic sent volunteers to the German government. Hmm. Do they attack me? Do I attack them? Oh, let's call in Angola. I thought I just... I thought I called them all in. There we go. So you're not going to win over there. My goal is to take out South Africa down here first. Oh, I wanted to go to war with Switzerland too. So this is the episode before we go to really take the fight into Japan. Hopefully they don't invade us. And for the poor man, uh, let's come over here and finish the left side and education for the masses. Across this great nation, there are millions of more children struggling to resume normal life and facing a future no better than that of their parents without education. President Long has approved the bill Congress sped through to rebuild schools and reopen cultures for Americans in need. What a great man. Oh, what more could you ask for? We got that already. Let's get some better maintenance companies. That'd be really good to do. And, oh, shnikers. What is going on here? Ah, their fleet is still here. That's fine. Well, we lost an escort cruiser. We did end up sinking 24 destroyers, so their screens, they're actually not bad. They were kind of destroyed. And then you guys come over here. And we basically just replaced the losses that we just had. And they just took that out. Oh, great. Whatever. If we can flood down here more quickly, that'd be great, guys. That would be really great. Can you please just go? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You know, it looks like we can't really do much here. Victory over the other Dominion. Is the Raj at it again? You know what? Let's pull these guys out. I really don't want to do this, but it looks like we're going to have to. It's all... Yes, abort the task. Actually, just go ahead and repair. Let everyone here just go ahead and repair. Losses. Union of Denmark. Uh, okay. Germany's lost. That's a lot of guys already lost. Holy crap. Alright, well. Not great, but not bad. Destroyers, I don't really care about destroyers. That's actually not too bad, actually. They, they have a lot more ships than I thought they did. Hmm. Interesting. Could we win over here? Well, it might have helped if I give you orders. That might help. But then again, it might help if I call it in you guys as well. Yeah, it looks like they might be able to. I don't know how strong these guys are. They're exiled. They look like they have a ton of support companies, which is good for them, but still. It's nice. Uh, overall... Ah, oh, see, if you just move further south, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Make sure we build up this area because Africa, well, it's Africa. They don't really care about the roads too much. Um. Hmm. I'm. I wish I could release Middle Africa. That'd be kind of cool, but obviously we can't do that. So. Cool. Even though we got lost a few ships here and there, that's okay. Hopefully that gave our guys a little bit more experience because they haven't got any real experience for quite a while now. Level seven, nice. 
This guy is... Level 6. Not bad. Not bad. I can't believe that they've lost over a third of a million already. Wowzers. Did I lose something, or did I lose something? We lost planes, that's fine. <clears throat> Alright then. Goodbye. And we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm as we take out the Germans. We might not be able to take out Switzerland right now, but that's okay. Cool, good job, guys. You did it. Now you have no supplies. Hey, actually, United... You're actually united down here. That's actually really cool. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool in my book. So we're going to finish these guys off. I might... Instead of going to war with Switzerland, I might just go to war with the Cairo Pack first. Yeah, I probably will. Get those guys done. Brazilian... And I do want to go ahead and finish off South America, too. Uh, where are you guys at? You're over here. Go ahead, help out, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Lost Gone Boy. Alright, yep. Oh, we got some of their guys over here, too. Nice. Very good. Ah, uh, we got plenty of political power. What do we do here? What do we do? Not much. Nothing here. Supply-wise, we actually need more steel. Of all things, we actually need more steel. Wow. How's the infrastructure looking? <clears throat> now, this is what I like to see in America. Good roads. Man, wherever you go, you can always find places that have just god-awful roads. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes it's just so bad. So bad. But in some places, the roads are pretty awesome. In some places, though... Oh, my God. Don't even show up. Don't even go. Um, I know Germany actually has probably a lot of manpower. Let's see. Yeah, they got. They have actually a lot of manpower with the government in exile. They're running out of fuel, which is a great thing. They have some convoys. They have a much bigger navy than I thought. They have quite a few divisions. Um, I, I hate to do this to you, Germany. It's Kaiser Wilhelm III. But I'm doing this out of love. Love that you helped me. <clears throat> so that I help them understand that I love them so much, I'm going to put them back in Germany. Because I can't ally them. So, really, all these dead bodies, it's for a good purpose. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's for a good purpose. Uh, weapons designs, we might as well. So, new weapon designs. The army is reporting that our infantry weapons are insufficient to deal with both the close range automatic fire and long range sharpshooters. These gaps will take more lives if we're unable to fill the need as soon as possible. Great. Great, great, great. Good. Uh, I'll come back to more naval stuff. Mm, I'm going to do this already. Let's go ahead and get less chances to hit, get critical hits because we already lost a couple things here and there. Uh, I'll keep losing some things, but you know what? The more damage you do to enemy planes and enemy ships, the better. The much better. <clears throat> mm, you know what? I might, in the end, I might not give this... Look, we're doing great. I love this. But uh, I might give this to another German, or not German, but African puppet. Just because I want, like, maybe Algeria to be in the, here, someone in the center, and then Angola takes all the rest of the south. I think that'd be kind of good. How strong is Egypt? They don't have a strong navy, which is good. They have a lot of divisions, not a ton of manpower. Ethiopia has quite a bit of manpower. Libya won't be a problem. I do want to go to war with these guys next, so. I could go to war with Switzerland right now, but then they take out all my puppets, and that wouldn't be very cool. Hey, Brazilian operative got captured again? Yeah, we'll deal with Brazil soon enough. I promise. We'll get there. Nice. Convoy sinking, sinking, sinking. We must have done enough damage to them before, so they can't really do much uh, about my ships sinking them. Which is a great thing. Hey, advanced subs. Cool. Get even better subs. I could extract more Australians, but we're not going to do that now. Uh, don't need that. You know what? We're done with you two. Let's see. Tactical Bomber 3s. Are we making Tactical Bomber 3s? Yes, we are. Well, we want to. Tactical Bomber Traces. Thank you. And we're going to work on more military factories once we're... Well, I guess we're kind of done there, too. Basic Snorkels. Very good. Uh, let's get... Uh, actually, you know what? Is that worth it? Uh, eh, we might as well do it. Why not? I'm probably not even going to use them, but whatever. We have five research slots. We're starting to run out of things to research, so. Wow, it's like another 11 destroyers. Great. It's like another 10 destroyers. This is why I never make destroyers. I never, ever make destroyers because they're so weak. I mean, they have uses, for, especially for killing subs, but... Oh, another task force. Gone. I love it. Oh, we're shredding the Navy as, we, as they're not even using it. How many have died? Over a million. We've lost about 100,000 versus over a million. Really good stuff, my friends. Order to Portugal. So, while Portugal still labors under American control, the Portuguese military has asserted enough control over its own borders that a semblance of autonomy is not possible. That's not independence, far from it, but it does mean they no longer have to rely on American troops to secure the borders, and that's not so tightly under our control. 
Which kind of sucks. I kind of prefer them under my control. Oh, what the heck? Wait, what? Oh, maybe I didn't call Spain into the war, probably. A couple more divisions? Great. Just great. Actually, since you guys are here, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys up here as well. Supply is going to be real bad up here, but that's okay. I think uh, I've already made it. Yeah, 10 out of 10. That's pretty good. I'll uh, put some supply bases right there, too. American industry knows no bounds, so. Two more destroyers. A, there we go. M120s. Beautiful. Uh, SP artillery? We might consider using that, actually. And then maybe some mechanized motorized. Land auction. This will defend. We'll do that when we run out of things to do. Expand the Marine Corps. Liberty ships. How about that? Our shipyards previously dedicated to commercial shipping can easily be converted to produce massive numbers of convoys to supply our allies around the world. Yes. Yes. Voluntary allies. Also, I guess I took over uh, these guys up here. I'm not releasing them, just because I think it's strategically important that we keep it on for now. So, Cool. Mm, looking pretty good. And there goes Germany. Thank you for playing. Can I liberate you to someone else? I can liberate to Madagascar. Or not about I can do Madagascar, but Middle Africa. I'm just gonna take all states to see what happens. A truly great wall. Oops, I clicked on the control button. How long would it take for me to go to war with you guys? 185. Uh, and they did help us, but I want to put them under us just so that they love us. Also, we took a Paraguay. Apparently, they're a puppet of Brazil. They're a puppet of Brazil. Everyone here is a puppet of Brazil. Hmm. You know what? I don't want to see this. I'm sorry. I don't like doing this too often. Just do that. There you go. Everyone's happy for it. Well, most people are. Also, they took out Uruguay as well. They're a puppet of Brazil. Brazil is very aggressive in this timeline. Alright. Now, we're going to get an event here to see what happens. So. How am I going to split up? Oh, my God. Cameroon, Nigeria. Where is Middle Africa? Oh. Nah, I know it doesn't exist. Only in our hearts does it exist. But that's okay. Alright. So, let's come over here. Actually, let time go on, because we need to speed this up a little bit more. Cool, do that. Tanks, I want three right there, but not really. Hmm. It's a big old faction. It really is quite the big faction. Maintenance Company 2s, great. Let's grab Maintenance Company 3s. And since we're here... We'll do that, but you know what? With all this going on, I might just do this off-screen real quick, just so that... We'll be okay regardless of what I choose. I did equipment. South Carolina class. It's fine. I'm just going to want to send you to Brazil, my tanks. I mean, I could just fight again on Switzerland. That's going to take so long. Yeah, 250 days. That's that's a bit too much. So, here's my plan. I'm going to do going to make a puppet already off screen. And I'll see you in just a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, everyone. And welcome back. So, uh, let's see. I basically gave German Africa to the Dominion of Liberia just because I thought that we had maybe a puppet that we could use that we have a very good, fairly good relation with in which he or she could lead this good chunk of Africa. So Liberia, I love Liberia. And also we gave Angola more territory. So now they're united down here. But I think this is pretty nice. Algeria's up here. We gave some Algerian territories that I courted early for them to Liberia. They're in the Central African region-ish. And Angola's kind of Central Africa to South Africa. Which will take out the Union of South Africa eventually. But let's go ahead and do some submarine development. Subs all struck havoc on enemy shipping and heavy ships. We should ensure that our designs stay up to date against enemy destroyers and anti-submarine tactics. Which would be a great thing as we are right now. Poised to go to war with the Egyptians, the Cairo Pact, but we still have to give just a little bit more time until we can actually go to war, which is fine, and I also have set up my tanks to eventually navally invade uh, the northern African coast, in which right now we are going to go ahead and maybe get some more snorkels, uh, and then maybe make some uh, better subs. How about that? Uh, even though I might, not even, I might not even use those, to be honest with you guys. Let's go here, let's go there, let's put some torpedoes, better torpedoes. We have enough naval XP for now. We could do snorkels. Uh, less sub visibility, but I think probably radar level three is pretty gosh darn good to do. So it is what it is. Let's go and put that there too. That'd be great. Are we making any subs right now? We're making some old ships. Ooh. Uh, let's get rid of that. One sub at a time. Let's make two subs then. Eventually, of course. Eventually. You guys come over here as we're waiting to go to war with the Cairo Pact and basically dismantle them. I'll put you up near the top just so that we can always make at least one thing of subs at all times. We could need more military factories. But right now we're kind of helping out building up a good chunk of Liberia and Chad and that entire region 
Get more sub-attack, because we could probably really, really use it. And our ships are looking okay. Not great, but okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh! Oh, there's Japanese stuff down here. I put my ships... My, oh my gosh, look at those convoys. I put my ships in the Mediterranean to prepare the naval invasion of our tanks, but Jesus Christ, that looks really destructive. So after the Cairo Pact, then I'll go to war with the Belgrad Pact. Take them out, because I want everything under us before we go to war with Russia to get to Japan, because I don't want to invade Hawaii. I mean, I will eventually, but I'd rather do it like this, to be honest with you. Uh, another ship? Ah, carrier, great. We could actually use another capital ship here. Two carriers would be great. Never mind, make it three carriers then. Okay, sure, why not? More convoys? Oh boy, what's going on? Ah, convoys. We can take out Puerto Rico as well. We will get to that eventually too. And it looks like we only have so much here. Is it because you guys are repairing? Yes, you're repairing. That's fine. Uh, don't repair there. Level 2 is better than 1. Uh, level 1, that's fine. Level 7 is great. I really like that one. Level 6 is also great. Level 3, not bad. Level 1 is pretty garbage. Alright, now we go to war for Darfur. Which sounds like a great place to be this time of year. Not really, but you know, whatever. Hopefully we can kind of win here. I'm doing some anti-aircraft stuff. I think that'd be good. Helps us defeat enemy bombers, planes that want to destroy our ships. Heavy hulls, we could do that too. Um, hmm, I guess, you know, we'll do that, why not? And we'll go to war soon enough. I just want to make sure our tanks have the best chance of winning. And we get more ships through here. Actually, we'll take that off. Great, submarine development, maritime industry. So, our mar maritime traditions remain strong. We can leverage the commercial shipping industry to help our struggling democracy to survive. Good, 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 good. Ah, yes. Japanese convoys in the Caribbean and off the coast of Brazil. Oh, delightful. Uh, you guys are still moving around. Cool. Let's see. They, I mean, we are poised to do really great. Let's get maintenance four. That'd be awesome. Good. Plenty of political power. We could extract more Australasians, which is fine. We'll save you eventually. I know they've lost a lot of guys already, but that's okay. All right. We're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. You guys are looking pretty awesome. We might as well go to war now, then. And then go to war with these guys. 185 days. Let's see what happens. Uh, cool. Very cool. I'm going to wait for them to all go to war with us first. Austria still exists for some reason, I guess. Uh, we have Libya, Saudi Arabia, Somalia. We need Ethiopia. They're going to take out... Uh, we need to take out Eritrea, too. It's fine. But they're going to take out Djibouti, which we own right now. Which we're going to take over, which they've already begun. Which I don't really care about, to be honest with you. It's only Djibouti. And Djibouti isn't worth too much. Just saying. No offense. Alright, so you guys, go ahead. I'm going to have to tell my tanks and marines. Well, just I guess mostly just tanks here. Go ahead as well if you can. Mm, why can't you go? Well, some of you guys are going. Do we... Uh, let's see. Insufficient naval supremacy in the Eastern Mediterranean. Ah, over here. Alright, now okay, just had to give it a few more days. Alright, so we shot down a couple enemy planes. They're trying to shoot us up. We'll get over there soon enough. You guys... Oh, I need to call my allies. Oh, well, probably not Austria. No, oh, uh... Yeah, call it arms. There we go. We should do okay around here. Maybe not the best, but we should do it relatively okay. We might not be able to invade there, that's fine. I just want to invade all the ports as best we can, too, so... Oh, boy. Hey, look at that. A couple destroyers sunk. Great. I want to wait for these guys to get done when they're ready. Hey, look. I cut off these guys from each other. Go ahead and take that, too. Cut them off. Get Jagabub. Benghazi. Good. We can't take quite take Tripoli yet. That's okay. I really don't plan on... Okay, we took the capital. Great, as well. Cut them off. You guys get down to there. Get to the Suez. And get to Cairo. Beautiful. Now make sure they can't take us out. And then you guys just do all that. And then you guys come around here and take out uh, Jerusalem, maybe, and get to Damascus. I bet they really weren't expecting this. Can we try an attack through Liberia, perhaps? Thank you very much. Yes, 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 please. Eh, for overall, we'll do probably pretty well around here. Now, this does beg the question. What am I going to do with this territory once we take it all over? That's a very good question to ask. I have no idea. Uh, we'll probably make it one massive Egyptian puppet. I'm probably going to do that. Probably. That sounds like a good idea to me. 
Uh, you guys can die through here. As we've already taken out Damascus. Well, Aleppo time. I'm on. Good. Uh, this is a lot easier than I thought. Hold on. Before we let time go on, I want to see. They've taken so many losses. We've lost 34,000. Egypt is about to capitulate, in which they're just going to take the pact with them, which is eh, good in our book. Let the tanks get up there. They'll do a great job. Not really too worried about it. They can't, they can't win right there yet. That's fine. Get this, get rid of those guys. Come over here as well. Get over here as well. That'd be nice. This is a lot easier than I thought. How did, how did the Ottomans lose these guys? Seriously, it's really not that difficult. Then again, the Ottomans aren't in a very good position in the early stages of Kaiserreich. Not very good. Okay, they're gone. All right then. Cool. And you know what? I'm gonna do the same thing off screen. I am going to go ahead and set this up to be a very nice puppet for us, and I'll take out Eretria because they were at war with us as well. But I'll be right back, so we can continue on our journey. Alright, now that we've faded out again, and here we are. So I gave pretty much all of North Africa and parts of Eastern Africa to Egypt, just because I think it probably fits the best. Uh, they're led by this dude named Farouk the First. We gave him Libya, we gave him Ethiopia, which doesn't make too much sense, or Somalia, even Djibouti, but you know what? I want to reduce the number of countries that exist, so one, two, three, four, five. About to be four, I've also started to, uh, attacking some of the Japanese ships around here, which you've already sunk like 30 destroyers and escort cruisers, which is very nice. We're poised to go to war with Brazil, and also I release Syria as an interim Middle Eastern government for now, led by Sami al Hinawa. Hinawa. Hinawi. Regardless, eventually we will take out Saudi Arabia, because they are still technically in the Cairo Pact. I'll take them out, and then probably put everything in the Middle East under the Saudi rule, but we'll see what happens. Right now, though, we have a war justification ready to go between us... And this, this. Um, I don't know if I want half of you. Uh, give me a small little group here. All these guys come down here first. That'd be great. Thank you very, very much. And let's do a focus. I've been doing construction engineering. I do not... When I do things off screen, I don't continue with focuses. I might do continuous focus, but for... But I don't do any further focuses. Both do new admirals. Many admirals deserted to the traders to the east. We should train a new generation of naval leaders to ensure our continued maritime dominance. Yes, very good. Let's get our tanks over there. And then we shall go to Pound Town with the Swiss. Pound some Swiss cheese. <clears throat> very, very good. Uh, three. Oh, actually, before we begin the countdown, one. Two. Three, and we we're about ready to go to war with Brazil as well. Alright, no one wanted to join in. Okay. I see how it is. I really do see how it is, guys. I liberate you. Yeah, you're recovering from a war. But we recovered our, from our civil war, and we basically took out all of Africa at this point. Almost all of it. And a huge chunk of Europe. So, let's see what happens. We won't win everywhere, but you know what? We should have pretty good air superiority around here. Electric torpedoes, very good. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good so far. Pretty darn good. Doing more of the naval stuff. More torpedo attack, thank you. Uh, air attack, that's not enough, but you know what? It is what it is. 15, it's not bad. We are fighting in a mountains, which really kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, let's see, Switzerland, they've lost 36,000. We've lost 18,000. 78,000. Uh, we're not gonna, you know, do extremely well, but hey, we just got off, we just doubled the casualty rate, and we go to war with Brazil for now. Which is a great thing, my friends. I would like to finish these guys off first, and after this, we'll go to war with Saudi Arabia, probably. Very good. How many days? 125, that's a bit too long for me to wait. I'm gonna go ahead and stop doing this area. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're gonna really kill off the Brazilians now, if possible. Sorry if you're Brazilian, or Argentinian, or anything like that. Please just give me a few more days, and then we shall be there. Ah, encircled. I love it. Destroy them. We really killed off a lot of these. Whole, a third of a million. That is... That is terrifying. Great news. Good, 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 good. R, 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 R. As Mr. Krabs would probably say. No divisions. Um... I do... I would like to navally invade, but we'll see what happens. Down here, we should do okay, but let's really see what happens around here. Uh, we're trying to attack here, but we're not winning yet. Who are you guys? You are Simpson Hood. Maybe we can get a few more close air support planes. They're not that great, but you know what? That's okay. Give them some time. We'll, we'll win in Brazil regardless, so. Not really too concerned about it too much. Good. If you can, please. Ah, they called an Argentina, which is really good, so we can take them from the south as well. Trying to naval invade. Trying to do a good job here. Modern heavy hulls. Very awesome. If I do say so myself, good. you can grab that because we can. Uh, we have a little bit of naval XP, which is not bad, but we have a 
Oh god, that's not look very good. Hey, we got better anti-air too, good. Uh, get some heavy batteries as well. We don't want just super heavies all the time. Get some aircraft facilities. Um, we can't afford this yet. Oh yeah, we can. That's good. Battleship armor 3. Grab a little more anti-air. Uh, grab a secondary battery, that'd be fine with me. And grab another heavy. We already have a super heavy, so we have two heavies, that'd be fine. Level 3 radar is fine. Level 4 engine are, is good. We can't afford this, god dang it. Uh, that's annoying. Fire control, we gotta keep that on. Uh, remove that for now. We'll get some more uh, naval XP soon enough. So Then we'll upgrade it there. Go, more divisions. Right, actually we could really, really, really use another army. There you go. Led by Polar. Now, can we naval invade and do a good job? Because Polar needs some action. He's fresh, he's new. And we've just sunk a convoy and another convoy. Cool. Come over here. Start doing atomic research because we should have done that a long time ago, but whatever. Ooh, whatever. Argentina's looking not too bad yet. Not too bad. Psychological warfare. We are done with that stuff. Very good. Uh, good. Good, good. We're naval invading. Great. I'm going to immediately send you guys down here to help attack. And because our tanks have nothing to do, once these marines land down here, we're going to attack as well. Great. Please go ahead and make your way down to the bottom there. Thank you. Oh, Japanese stuff. Huh. Convoys lost. Great, great, great. As you can tell, I'm definitely trying to speed up this campaign just a little bit more as I do fade in and fade outs. Uh, that's fine with me. Oh, hello there. You have nothing to do? Well, come on over here too. Come on to the great place called Brazil. Maybe we can find some Japanese people here, some Japanese immigrants, who are probably just now Japanese Brazilians, but that's okay. Hey, look. Eight ships destroyed. Hey, look. Six more ships destroyed. Hey, look. Oh, Uruguay's been called in. Thank God Brazil took everyone out here. This way it makes it easier for us to kill everyone off in, in one fell swoop. Ah, uh, we lost a sub, but for an exchange for a convoy, not really worth it, but whatever. Another convoy? Good, 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 good. How many losses have we suffered so far? Quite a few, actually. Quite 100,000. Even more from Argentina, but it's about... We're doing... We're inflicting more casualties on them than they are on us, which is a good thing. Uh, here, go ahead and do this. That'd be fine, that'd be fine. Do that as well, and then do that as well. That'd be very, very good. As we're trying to throw more divisions onto this little place here. God, supplies are going to suck so much. So much. So not bueno. And those guys are showing up, which is good. I'm going to throw you guys over here now. There you go. Let these guys deal with what they need to do. Give them a few more seconds so that the way they can uh, get some more organization. As we're desperately trying to push in and not get encircled in Argentina, guys. Come on, man. Don't get encircled. Hey, task force. Great. Uh, let's do create the waves. Women can serve many auxiliary roles in the Navy, freeing up men for combat duty. While this might be socially controversial, it will significantly help our war effort. Less stability, but more ship repair speed. Oh, hell yeah. Ship repair speed. I love that. That is a great, great thing, my friends. All right, I'm tired of you waiting around. Let's go ahead and do it. You guys will be fine. Good. Yeah, a lot of losses, but you know what? That's what we get for taking out all of the Americas. Quite almost literally all of the Americas. I did have not forgotten about Puerto Rico. So we're going to war with Saudi Arabia next, and then we'll go to war with the Balkan League, or Balkan Belgrade Pact, and then go to war with Russia, because Russia, well, they have a big old group here. And we, and I took this time just to build myself up so I have a nut, more armies, because look at all, this, this is huge, this is huge. They even have India under them. Insane. Insane. And I made sure that they court everything, even though they don't have a lot of manpower. Hmm. No, they're on volunteer only, that's okay. Uh, not bad. We Did we cut them off? Not yet. It looked like we did almost. Hey, the tanks have showed up. Great. Thank you for ruining supplies. Let's see if we can do this. Keep building, keep building. We could probably honestly use more military factories. Texas could use them. Put them in these Canadian states. That'd be great. What do we have over here? Oh, fate of Switzerland. Um, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna do what should have been done centuries ago. I'm not gonna have independent Switzerland, to be honest with you. Uh, you guys... I'm just gonna do this. Transfer. I know it's not exactly Germanic. It's kind of Germanic, but not exactly. I'm just going to do that. Uh, I'll give Ticino to my Italian friends. Thank you. I mean, France already took Romandy. Uh, Swiss Plateau, I'll give it to Germany because it's so pretty fairly German here ish. Not really, sort of. The Germanic to a degree. That's better. That's looking so much better. Good. Now that we have a tanks here, I'm not really too worried about this at all. Please get down to Rio. That would be Bueno. Hey, Paraguay, good. Oh, these guys are going to die. I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
Good. There's so many things here. Please crack down, more stability, yes please. We could create a couple sections. Eh, might as well, who cares? I'm not sure what to do with my political power anyways, so. Uh tra training? War propaganda? Sure. Why not? I have over 500 political power still, so. Buenos Aires is going to fall soon. Well, actually, it already did fall. Ar I mean, Argentina is going to fall soon. Uh, Argentina operative captured. Very nice, very nice. Keep going, guys. You're doing a fantastic job. Fantastical. Yeah, this is actually a lot easier than I th no, It's a little easier. Not a lot easier, but a little easier. Uh, just because Brazil does have quite a few soldiers. Losses, I'm going to assume like 200,000 for us. Probably. Uh, we're around there-ish. Yeah. Versus two thirds of a million. Oh boy, what did I run out of? Do we make so much infantry equipment that I ran out, or is it just trying to gar gar garrison? Ah, uh, see, I made so much equipment. Oh boy. Uh, even if I don't get everything researched immediately. Oh boy. Come on. Honestly, just let it go over. I don't really care at this point. Uh, let's do some of that. Mine damage. Let's get some better naval invasion defense. That'd be good. Uh, let's get more stuff. Good. God, the American military right now is just oppressive. Oh, we got even modern carriers. That is so beautiful. I'm going to make you a new task force. Screw it. Anti-air, very cool. Two modern carriers. That is just... Oh, it just warms my heart. Oh, yes. I love carriers. Even though sometimes... They don't, they, it doesn't seem like they do extremely well sometimes. Sometimes they can, sometimes they don't. It seems kind of hit or miss at times. Oh, that being said, let's come back to the Dreadnought. No, modern ship holes. Good. Even better radar. I'm glad we sort of waited there. Secondary batteries, that looks pretty good. If I do say so myself. Not bad. I love it. We'll probably never make these. Probably never use them. But hey, that's just me. Good, good, good. Return to Egyptian lands. Also, Egypt, as you didn't see, I did take the Suez Canal. I figured it's too, way too important to leave it up to anyone else, so we just we just kept it. I don't think anyone's going to really mind, though. Oh, good, good. Just get in there, get in there. Go, 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 go. Santos. How much further? They're almost dead. They've lost basically a million. We've lost 200,000. Sorry, Brazil. I love you, but it is what it is. And there goes Brazil. Great, and now, let's see. America's looking great. How about over here? How much longer? Uh, hmm. I have a feeling if I just send my tanks over here, we could probably crush them pretty easily. Create the waves. Great. Well, expand the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps was an epitome of American power projection around the globe. From the shores of Tripoli to the halls of Montezuma. The Marines were always there. We should ensure they have modern equipment and training. Good idea. Let's let time go on. Let's do that, 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 that. Good. Make some of that stuff there. Uh, we got some radar down there, which is very, 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 very nice. Uh, do we have any... Eh, I think they already took over my islands down there. That sucks, but whatever. Over here. Oh, boy. A loyal Brazilian government. Well, actually, no, that's not right. You know what? I'm going to do this off screen, and I'll see you when we can go to war with Saudi Arabia. All right, my friends, and now we're back. So I've already gone to war with, let's see, the Cairo Pact, Saudi Arabia, as well as Puerto Rico, in which I've done nothing, I haven't even invaded them yet, but they are attacking me quite, uh, quite a bit. So, let's go ahead and see if we can try to navally invade them, as well as finally begin the invasion of Saudi Arabia, which honestly, probably won't take too long, especially if we just won almost every single, every single battle and we're overrunning their divisions. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. That looks really good. We've already killed off 100,000 of them. Okay. Sure. And hey, look, our South German Confederation is now considered a major power. I'm much more concerned about this, though. I hope we can actually win and do well here. Uh, oh, wait, you were, they left to the naval invasion. Oh, oh. Well, looks like it's going well anyways. They only have one military division, but they have like ten divisions over here. Or maybe six. Well, Puerto Rico, you have chosen poorly. Incredibly poorly. And they're dead. Beautiful. I love Puerto Rico. But now we must, of course, gather for the next fight. And that is against the Belgrade Pact. So let's see what happens. And finally, hopefully, we can actually rebuild Puerto Rico. Love it, my friends. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. As we are just racing across in the Middle East through Arabia. Uh, if you could, that'd be great. 
So wait, hey, we overran them. Jesus Christ, that is so disgusting. A quarter of a million people have died in Saudi Arabia already. Jesus, that is insane. Yeah, that's why I use the tanks here. Just, they're too good. They're too good not to use them, you know. And we're about ready to go to war with Serbia, too. So, that'll be fun. Hopefully, we can win here. I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem taking out the Belgrade Pact. But then, we have to go to war with Russia. And then, try to fight through all of Asia. Never fight a land war in Asia. But it is what it is, my friends. So, let's let time go on, once again. And we shall go to war with the Belgrade Pact. I love it. Now, this might be overkill. And it might kill my supplies, actually. But I'm trying to build up infrastructure here, too. So, go ahead on up. And do that. That would be great, great, great. You guys are doing well. We have an extra army here. What are they up to right now? Not much. So let's make sure we go to war with these guys as well once we get the justification done for the Belgrade Pact, which honestly should not take that much longer. And uh, depending on how long the war lasts, I might just do this off screen. So, cool. Naval mine avoidance. Very good. Any more ships? We got five more. Tons. And tons of escort cruisers. Three carrier groups, three carriers in this one. They got three carriers and a dreadnought. This group has a dreadnought, and that's it. So the middle one needs some more capital ships. Dreadnought, uh, no, no. Carrier, battleship, and four cruisers. And then a carrier, two battleships, two cruisers, and 17 light cruisers, which they could probably use like a few more screens there too. But we've got three more divisions to use, which is a good thing, which, you know, we probably honestly need more. Uh, I cut it down to 7. Let's go back up to 8. And the canceled Lundies. That's fine. I don't really care. Infantry equipment. Eh, it is what it is. You know, it, it's going to be a mess. Yeah, Bosnia. Good. 3. 2. And before we do that, uh, just in case, we start, need to start justifying on someone else. We took out Switzerland. We took out pretty much everyone that we really need to. South America is looking great. I, hope, I really hope you enjoyed this episode so far. I mean, it's almost over for this episode, but that's okay. Uh, Moscow. I think, really, Russia's next. I want to have a united Germany, so let's see what happens. 125 days, very good, but let's finish off this episode with a rounding success over there, and then also justify on these guys if we can at the same time. I forgot about that. 185, that's not too bad. Cool. Let us do the dirty deed. Yeah, it's not really dirty. End of the Balkan Research Initiative. All right, cool. Um, I got to manually call these guys in. It's fine, whatever. They can't really say no since they're my puppet, and I love it. Oh yeah, we have Rupert Upresh guarding, or not guarding, but doing his stuff here. Um, so far so good. Hopefully we can overrun a couple divisions here and there. Mm, Belgrade Pox lost fifty-six thousand. Come on, come on, Albania, Bulgaria, Greece. Come on, man. You gotta join. You gotta join. Please join. Please join. I. Oh yes, yes, they join. Good. Ah, oh, I love it. Ah, and we're... Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. What's going on here? We sunk a Valkyrie Aero Cruiser. Oh, I'm so sorry for about your fleet. Not really. Actually, I, I hope you make more ships so we can do this again sometime. Um, yeah, that is... That is nice. 17 ships sunk. We did lose a plane, but you know what? It's fine with me. Oh, yes, Mr. Krabs. That's so good. Love it. Oh, we have some things over here, too. Yeah, whatever. Fine tractor, and I do want to make some mechanized as well. Let's go with that, and let's see. Mechanized equipment, thank you. Toad rocket artillery looks really derpy. Wait, uh, I grabbed the wrong thing. Serbia is gone. Oh, sweet, sweet Serbia. If only you lived. Cool. Well, I guess time to go to Greece. Hopefully, we don't lose too many tanks doing this, but we'll see what happens. Please, Bulgaria. Please, someone else come in. Please, I don't want it to manually take you out later on. I'm not even sure where the divisions are at. We've only killed 222,000 Serbs and 67,000 Greeks. Come on, someone else join, please. Please. Oh, wait, we can go to war with them. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, heck yeah. I'm more concerned about these guys. Go ahead and do that. Except for you guys. You guys are going to come right through here. See what you can do about them, Albanians. Get down to Athens. And we are getting more army XP, which is really nice. Very, very, very nice, actually. I love it. Two destroyers, huh? Oh, boy. Hey, look! An actual Greek fleet! Nice! We actually lost a convoy, though, which is not good, but... Um, and for revenge, we're just going to kill them all off. Beautiful, my friends. I thought this wouldn't take too long. Hopefully not, but you know what? I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Tomorrow's episode, we will go to war, of course, with Russia. As well as South Africa. 
and push our way to the great places of uh, Asia. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Why are there so many Belgrad pack people down here? But regardless, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.